guys, my name is Julie Mutwasi, and uh, I didn't think I would say this, but welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> yeah, I'm a content creator, I do create content everywhere, and this is one of my first time doing a kitchen content, like literally. So today we're going to make chickpeas curry, and it is more of an Indian cuisine. So there are going to be a lot of spices that they're going to use that are Indian. So yeah, let's just head right to the tutorial. This is about 200 grams of soaked chickpeas. Uh, you want to soak them in a plastic container and refrigerate them. If you are living in a warm, maybe climate, if you leave them on the counter or in an open space, they're probably going to ferment. So you want to put them in a plastic tin seal it and put it in the refrigerator and let it uh, let them soak for about 12 hours maybe overnight just for a few hours so that they're nice and they're probably going to double up in size and then that's what we are going to boil just regular boiling with a pinch of salt i will drain the water Then, uh, this is the water that we're going to boil the chickpeas in. So, I'll just put our chickpeas here. I put them in the sephoria and then I'm adding a quarter tablespoon of pink salt uh, so that I can boil with it. We have boiled our chickpeas, here they are, and they literally taste like peanuts. So, <laughs> and uh, after this, let us first go um, prep our ingredients so that it will be easy for us to just put the onions, put the tomatoes and all the other ingredients. I'll put my onions here. This is an onion grinder, maybe <laughs> just say, or a chopper if you want to call it that. I just cut my onions into big chunks then with an air and then what I'm going to do is just to add this. <laughs> And uh, we are going to also do the same with the tomatoes and I'll show you how it turns out later in the video. Now I'm going to measure out all my spices, a teaspoon full of each spice that I'm going to use and I will show you how the spices, I will just arrange them here so I'll show you. I forgot something, apart from our tomatoes and onions, we're going to crush our roughly five cloves of garlic. So this is what we are going to do. This needs energy, yo. <laughs> so we're just going to do like this. Hey, after all the working out, we are, we are finally done with crushing the garlic. And now we go to, let's go to me showing you the spices I'm going to use. And we have two separate ingredients. The one that I'm going to use first in a, like hot, oil and then these are the ones that I'm going to use after like after I put my tomatoes on to our real deal the reason why you're watching this video and uh, like right here I am boiling after something uh, just water mixed with uh, some of the spices that I told you they are my first ingredients and I'm going to use let me just light it up uh, what I'm going to use I'm going to use two teaspoons of uh, Pure Kenyan tea. And then I'm going to dip in my cinnamon sticks. We're going to put our cardamom seeds. Then after that, you just boil it. 
for a while. This is like a concussion for a meal. <laughs> yeah, so our next, um, um, like, our next step, we're going to like fry the. the oil till it's, it's really hot. Our oil is like hot now. We're going to put our mustard seeds. Then we are going to put our coriander seeds. And please make sure that your coriander seeds pop so that you can, that you can get the taste from. Uh, then we add our chili. Put our garlic. Fill it like translucent. Then we'll put our onion. We're going to add our tomatoes. So we're going to add our garlic and ginger paste. Then the rest of the spices follow. Chili. Then we are going to mix. And now we are going to put our chickpeas in. This is glorious. <laughs> this is what we're going to use to put in the chickpeas, but you can just eat it as they are. Let us go to the serving. <laughs> like literally, I cannot wait to eat this. So yeah, you can eat this with your rice, with your chapatis, with your just anything. Nikama. Nikini kama maharagwe or lentils. Yeah, you can eat it with anything or just drop. So, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you like it. And for more of me, you can check me out on my Instagram and YouTube at Julie Mutasi. Bye!